All right, seconds, here's your practice video for Pixar music. Uh, so here's the very beginning. One flat in the key signature, four, four time. So watch out for low ones on the A string all the time through here. We also have some E flats to worry about. So at the frog, accented heavy bow, one, two, ready, and. <laughs> Remember all your bow lifts back at measure five. Keep it in the lower half. Breathe, sniff during those rests so you're playing on the correct beat, lots of and beats. Uh, and then watch out the last measure we just played, C sharp, high three. Then I use a fourth finger, then high two. So watch out for that. Okay, then you guys get the pretty, pretty melody of Nemo. Here's measure 15. We are now in one sharp, F sharp, and three, four time. Here we go, one, two, three. a weird note to end on, but yeah, that's a D sharp low one at the end. All right, so try that maybe in third position, because otherwise you're using fourth fingers a lot and it's a little awkward, it's hard to vibrate. Uh, so try that in third position if you've, you're comfortable with that. So you don't have any open A's. You want to avoid open A's as much as you can. Uh, and then just be careful some of the rhythms. Watch when you have an eighth note followed by an eighth tied to a quarter that you're playing the one and, three and, one, one and, three and. Okay, so now our next section, 37, we're adding a sharp. Now we have two sharps, key of D. Uh, and this part says in two, it's in cut time, but let's do it first in regular 4-4 four, four time and make sure you have your notes and the counting correctly. Uh, real quick, before we do this, if you look before 47, uh, two measures. That's a little weird little section. Lots of chromatic stuff in this part. F sharp, G, G sharp, and then use a fourth finger for your A. You could also do this in second position, put a one on your F sharp. One, two, three, four, all squished together, tiny little half steps. Um, otherwise, if you can get your three to move quickly, you can do that too, just make sure it's not really smeary. So two, three, high three, four, and then remember it's still sharp. Okay, so let's give this a shot in context. Here's 37 in four, four time. One, two, three, four. Rest. So a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, from 55 to the end of that section, lots of double up bows. Watch out for all your hook bows, and that'll be easier the faster we go. But all the accidentals, oh my gosh, you guys. You've got D sharps um, down to D naturals, F sharp versus F natural all over the place. So be careful that you're playing the right accidentals. If you don't know what it's supposed to be or why, please come and ask me or, or ask during class. Uh, so that main melody stuff at 39, Remember, it stays sharp. So the first two are D sharps, then the D natural open D. You can try that in half position. So two, one, one open, or just one, one, like that. 
Okay, so keep it at that tempo until you're comfortable with all the accidentals and you know you're playing every note right. Uh, while I'm looking at it to watch out because of the key signature, you have a C sharp high three and measure 49, 50, 51, 52. So be careful that you're stretching out for that one. Okay, so now that you're comfortable with it, let's go back and try it in cut time. So here's 37. Keep thinking fast four if you want, otherwise this is a, a two feel. So keep working on that so you can get up to speed. All right, our next part, we're in the glory days, the Incredibles music at 67. Losing a sharp. Now we just have one sharp in the key signature, but again, lots and lots of accidentals. Uh, bow lifts, watch out for your double downs. You have to lift quickly. It's just quick circles back to the frog. Uh, you could try this in half position if you like. Oops. Okay, be whole step, half step going up the G string. Otherwise, low one to a low two in, in first position works fine too. All right, so here's 67 low ones across the board, G sharp to D sharp. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Awkward. Let's try. Let's try that whole part one more time. Here's 67. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Cellos and basses take it away, and you guys come in a couple measures later. Here's this rhythm part. Watch out. One, then the and a two, and then beat four. One, two, three, four. Pizzicato, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right, and then back to Arco on the and a two. Ready, and one, two. One, two. One, two. So that's that section. Lots of dombos, lots of work with your accidentals. Careful there. All right, and now you get a little bit of a break. 107, the Ratatouille main theme. Smooth legato, slower tempo. Nice, easy part, but doesn't mean that you can't work hard. So vibrato, smooth bows, beautiful finger placement for intonation. Uh, watch, we're in one sharp here still, and three, four times. So here's 107. One, two, three. <laughs> So watch out in that part, C natural low twos with an F sharp high two, especially between 112 and 113. Flip from low two to high two. All right, your last chunk, we're almost there. 129, we go into a swing rhythm, an uneven eighth swing. Uh, still in one sharp, but back to four, four time. And still a lot of accidentals too, and you've got a friend of me. Um, we've got some B flats, some E flats all over the place. So take some time and mark your parts so you know what fingers are low and which aren't. All right, so here's 129 on the and of one. One, two, three. 
three, four, one. <laughs> It tells you at the, for that last note to play all three notes together, but if you're not comfortable doing that chord or it's squeaking on you, just pick one note or the other. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so yeah, some tricky rhythm stuff in there, you guys. Um, watch at 139, like I yelled out, we add a sharp, we go to F sharp and C sharp in the key signature, um, but still you're going all over the place between F sharp, F natural, back to F sharp. So mark that in so you know where you're going. Uh, and of course, any questions, come see me and we'll take care of this in your lessons as well.